Mark Taylor took over a good side that Alan Border had, uh, had led well in the last part of his career. But the important thing that Mark Taylor did was he took a good side and he made them better. And the way that he made them better was very, very smart. Um, Bo uh, uh, Mark Taylor looked at the assets of that Australian side and some of the assets were very aggressive batsmen and Mark Taylor gave them free reign to play the way that they wanted to and I'm thinking particularly of Michael Slater and Mark War. and it's important to let stroke makers know that they're not going to get into trouble if they play their natural game and they happen to make a mistake early and get out and Mark Taylor did that and because he did that um, Australia were able to score more quickly under his captaincy, which placed greater pressure on the opposition. The, another smart thing that, uh, that Mark Taylor did was he, he let the Australian team know who was in charge of the side. Uh, they'd gone through a period where Bob Sim or Alan Border had um, uh, unwisely allowed Bob Simpson to have way too much um, uh, say in the Australian side because the captain, as I said, has got to run the team. But um, Alan Border had let the coach have way too much say. And on the first day of his captaincy, when Bob Simpson stepped forward to say something to the team, Mark Taylor just sort of grabbed him by the arm and said, I'll handle this, Bob. So he immediately let the team know, I'm the person that's in charge here. I'm, I'm running this show. If you've got a problem, you come and see me. So that was another smart thing he did. And the, the other really clever thing that Mark Taylor did was he tried to win the game from the first ball. He, he let the opposition know. If, if Australia was batting, you know, they had Michael Slater to, uh, to get things moving quickly. That sent a pretty good signal to the opposition that, uh, hey, we're trying to win this game. And if he was bowling, and, and he would always, if he won the toss, even if he thought the pitch was a bit green or it was a bit damp as it was at Old Trafford in 90, uh, 97, uh, he would still bat first because he had Shane Warne. So he was always finding ways to let the opposition know, I'm here to win this game and I'm here to win it from the first ball. And, and Mark Taylor was, I mean, he's a very affable guy um, and he, you know, he, he was well respected by his teammates. And I think that's another important thing as a captaincy, uh, with captaincy. Uh, you've got to have the respect of your players. Mark Taylor had that. So Mark Taylor had a lot of attributes to be a good captain and I think he was even better than a good captain. I think he was a very, very good captain.